Hey, this is Dave. I am here checking out Prolock. It's a new line by by Shark Bite. This is the uh, shot off ball valve for three quarter inch. There's two in a two in a pack. I got a six pack, three quarter inch elbows. Got the three quarter inch T. Let's get all this over here. I got a. A half inch T, same thing, just a six pack, a half inch. Always good when there's a six pack. And speaking of six packs, we've got a three pack of uh, reducing T, so three quarter to half to half. Let me show you this stuff. This is incredible. No longer sweating the slowest part of your plumbing job, it's now cutting. Cutting is now the slowest part. Check it out. Push this in until it seats, you can feel that. And then you just turn your clamp. A little tiny click. Turn this in to the seat. There it is. And then a click. Oh, that was already locked. That's my problem. So they're in there secure. They're good. Here's a three quarter. I'm sure, it's not locked. So check out in there. Can you see that? Ah, there we go. Anyways, you got a nice seal. You got those uh, those teeth that go in there. So you go until you get the sure stop, and you know when it stopped. And then you click. If you're hard of hearing like me, you just feel the click. So there you go. I mean, that's all set up. Let's say you need a a stop valve on this. There you go, and click. Not sure where off is. <laughs> I don't know why, but you know, let's say you need a little help. Well, that's off that way. There you go, that's on. Maybe you feel like you need an elbow in your life. Let's just click. Put that elbow on. Is it locked? Nope, there it is. Click. There it is. And that's cool, by the way. You can still twist everything, right? Put on a half inch T. I'm just gonna stick it in there until it seats, and then I'm gonna click it. And then what, what piece have we not used? This T is looking a little, a little bit lonely. There, stick it in, click, twisted, right? Beautiful. And here's your T. There you go. And we'll just bring this over. See if we can go there. And let's say for some reason we need to put a reducer in. Get a reducing T on here. Let me show you the slowest part of plumbing jobs now. I can't get that one out of there. Here it is. Um, so I just need to click that. So now the slowest part of any of this is cutting. So let's see how far I need to make this. I'm going to put that in. Oh, it's three quarter. Sorry. So we need to know how long seated. Click. So easy to see how long you need it. It's right on that line, right? So here's the new slowest part of plumbing. Uh, in theory, I should mark that, right? There you go. There's the slowest part. So. And then click it. Seriously, this is unreal. So, can you rough in an entire house in a day? Well, I mean, how fast can you can you drill through studs? Let's say this is all wrong, and I don't actually want that. Well, no problem. 
I'll just slide this down so you can get a good view of how cool this really is. You just twist. Let's see if I can get a twist in there. And then push the collar and pull it out. And because everything still moves, you don't need to have it all perfectly straight when you're putting it in. Twist it, push the collar, pull it out. Oh, those both have been in, right? So, we got a half inch T. Take this back apart. That's it. I mean, this is... A friend of mine's an electrician, but he spent time apprenticing as a plumber. So I was, I was renovating our, our house. I asked him if he would uh, help me out because we were moving, moving a bathtub, or you know we we're, we gutted the bathrooms and had to move some drains and all that. Um, Put a rain head in the ceiling through the through the master bathroom ceiling, and he actually went out. You know, he's an electrician by trade, but he went out and, and bought the PEX tool because you know he's he knew he'd be using it. We used a ton of you know a ton of shark bite and whatever, but um, but I wanted to run PEX uh, from the second valve up into the ceiling um, and down. For my new shower or with the rain head so um, he went and bought the tool and he still uses it you know I mean it wasn't a bad investment but all of a sudden this makes that obsolete I mean it is unreal shark bite knock it out of the park here's the official instructions push twist and lock it. So push it till it seats. That's easy to hear. Twist until you feel or hear the click, and that's it. The slowest part of your job is now waiting on your ratcheting cripper to ratchet down. This is now the slowest part. Doing that. And you can bypass that by just swinging it down, but um, that and, and your whole hog. Anyways, that's an absolute hit. I'm, I'm, I'm shocked. The value, the performance, presumably it's leak free. We'll get it under pressure in the next week um, on a project we're doing that we don't start until uh, next week. But um, I, I foresee no problems with this. And if, if you are a plumber uh, or a handyman who's allowed to do plumbing stuff or whatever, uh, people you know say, oh no, what about a leak? What if, what if one of these leaks? You know what? You can do 50 jobs in a day if the houses are next door to each other, right? Um, I'm just sliding this on. Boom, 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 boom. Done. 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 I've never had a shark bite leak. Never, ever have I had a shark bite leak. Trying to think if that's true. I'm, I, nothing, never. And I live with them. That rain head we put in, uh, that was a shark bite, you know, stopper on the end of it until we um, put in a proper, you know, uh, rain head. But you know, I just had a, I just had a brass, <laughs> I just had a brass uh, hanging down, a brass pipe, a, a copper pipe hanging down from the ceiling with a shark bite on it. I don't know, probably six months, you know how you do things. That, so it was, you know, it was live, it was water. I mean, we pulled it off to see if it worked and all that. And never leaked. Um, I know a guy who says he knows a guy, heard from a guy who said that once a shark bite leaked. You know what? Give me a break. So, am I expecting these to leak? Absolutely not. I'm expecting perfect performance. And as you can see, it comes apart. Super easy if you need to change something around. What a hit.